So here is the current rig, and we're going to be installing the RS Mega Plus motion system onto this. As of now, as you can see, it's very close to the wall. We have monitor mounted directly to the rig. We've got fans mounted to the ring. We've got our butt kicker amps mounted to the rig. All that stuff, I think, is gonna have to come off once the motion is installed. And I believe we're gonna have to scoot this thing out from the wall a bit. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see after we're done. But the plan is going to be to kind of wheel this whole thing out into the middle of the room here. This is in my theater room here. So we'll wheel it out. Then we'll remove the excess parts that we don't want on. We will then install the RS Mega actuators. Do a test while it's moved out from the wall a bit to see at maximum how much room we need. Move it back to that space. And then we're also going to remove the monitor mount from the rig and I think mount it to the wall so it kind of swings out. Um, that's the plan at least. Probably is gonna take quite a while. Uh, so here's the before and Later on, hopefully, we'll see the after. So here we are, I don't wanna say halfway through, but partway through the updates to the rig. We've got it pulled out from the wall and basically all non-essential things taking, taken off of the rig. Uh, so when I add the actuators, um, I think everything that's currently on here should be okay to get moved and shaken around. Monitor mount is off, sidebar is off. Got it pulled out, so should be fairly easy or easier to install these actuators, test them, and then move it back. As you can see, I've got shit everywhere now laying around. But next is going to be assembling these actuators, attaching the motor to them, and then putting them on the rig. So hopefully next update you'll see is rig in its current position, but with the actuators installed. So we have our first actuator and motor mounted. Uh, it's not completely tightened in. I'm gonna move the position, slide it around later. Wanted to give kind of a PSA for anyone thinking of doing this on their own. This one is now attached, but very loosely attached. I got these knowing how heavy the rig was just to get wheels, these wheels here underneath it so I could slide it out to do this install. But it turns out these are very helpful when installing these. These are heavy, the rig is heavy. I can't imagine trying to install these without having a way to move up and down slightly the rig to line up the bolts. So if you're gonna think about doing this yourself, uh, you should have some way of raising, lowering the rig so that you can do these minor adjustments. These, like I said, I got them for the wheels. They turned out more helpful for this so if you're interested, I got them off Amazon. I think they were cheap, maybe 15 bucks a piece or something. So again, it's a pain in the ass, but uh, we're, we've got two of them attached, two more to go. Then I'll worry about leveling it and placing them precisely. But I wanted to let you know about these guys in case you're thinking of doing it. Here we have the completed rig now with the RS Mega Plus actuators attached. Four, of course, one on each corner. Everything except for the bare minimum has been removed from the rig. I have the monitor now mounted on the wall. I built this keyboard tray out of spare aluminum parts and as for the rs mega itself install you can see 
Each of them has two cables coming out of them. I somewhat tried to manage the cables, but it just got to be so much that you can see it looks like a snake pit down here. I'll give you a little demo quickly to show that it's actually working. Turn it on here. We have the four servos, we have the Thanos controller, and you see here we're going up, left, right, down. So it's all working. Um, with VR, I had to use motion compensation to minimize some of the VR sickness. I have it mounted here. You can see that's a Wii motion sensor or Wit motion sensor. Um, I'm still working on that. Right now I can't have the motion turned up too high before I start getting sick. But it's not nothing. It's, you can see in the last race video I posted where I have the settings. If you want a more detailed video on the configuration of the RS Mega, let me know. Um, for now, that should complete the installation setup and quick demo. Thanks for watching.